Leonardo da Vinci, time traveler. Leonardo, as we all very well know, was a genius before his time, and he is frequently mentioned alongside the greatest thinkers our world has ever seen, and he was obsessed with everything from painting to inventing things like the helicopter. But where did all this manifest from? What gave him the spark to ignite such curiosity at which he came up with ideas at an absolutely obsessive rate? During da Vinci's very well-documented life, there is a bit missing. Not a few days or weeks, but years missing. He vanished and when he re-emerged, he could not create his ideas fast enough. He was literally a man on a mission and even up until this present day, we are finding instructions from the great man regarding very high technological advancements that are completely out of place for this time period. Wait till you hear this insanely brilliant. This was one thing da Vinci had in common with Nikola Tesla. Tesla himself openly tried to invent a machine that would guide the human consciousness to a different realm altogether. Could Leonardo have built a similar device, a time machine perhaps? We know that does sound pretty crazy, but during the years 1476 to 1478, Leonardo da Vinci was gone. No record exists as to where he went, except in his notes he briefly mentions a mysterious cave. During this period of his life, and he describes a dark cave that frightened him as to what may lurk within the darkness, but also an even more overwhelming desire to find out and conquer that fear. He describes beings he encountered here as being slightly creepy with a strange presence to them. Could the dark cave in fact be space? This is significant because he very rarely wrote about his private life. Although he shares his ideas with the world, he rarely shared private thoughts, so this stands out as a pivotal documentation of what he encountered. Could it even be possible that da Vinci was a time traveler from the future who got stuck in the 15th century and began drawing blueprints of the things from the time from which he came? He invented tanks, submarines, and helicopters using 15th century technology. He also studied anatomy against the Pope's orders, so the chances that the great man was from the future are not that hard to grasp at. Or perhaps during his two-year disappearance, this happened in vice versa, he somehow went to the future, saw all these amazing things and tried to replicate this in the 15th century. Here is an interesting plot we found from a 1960s book named Twice in Time. While vacationing in Italy, 19-year-old Leo Thrasher rashly experiments with a radical new science. He had accidentally discovered time travel and traveled back to the 15th century. The time travel affected his long-term memory, but he could remember enough details of 20th century technology that he was able to invent machines for a friendly warlord, who then became his protector. He was then able to pursue other interests such as art and non-war inventions and when his protector who was from Vinci, Italy adopted him, his name became Leonardo da Vinci. Nice plot, right? But what if this could be true? Isn't it as if Leonardo had tutoring from a more advanced civilization? There is close to no way he could envision all the projects he took on without some sort of visual memory of these things in the first place. What was driving his obsession? Was he chosen to create a quantum leap or a reference point in history using secret technology from a future human civilization? When he appears in 1478, his creative output reaches a whole new level unprecedented in fact, even by today's standards from many different scientific minds. Perhaps this is why he was so secretive in not only his ambitions, but on his private thoughts of which he rarely shared as we noted. Another thing he achieved was to produce aerial maps of cities with astonishing accuracy and consistency as if he himself had personally seen the city from above. Going by the maps, it is hard to believe he never witnessed this view from an aerial vantage point as if in a flying machine of sorts. Little known to most, one of Leonardo's finest works is not a painting or an invention, but rather something from astronomy. He solved the ancient riddle of Earthshine. You can see Earthshine whenever there's a crescent moon on the horizon at sunset. 
Look between the horns of the crescent for a ghostly image of the full moon. That's Earthshine. For thousands of years, humans marveled at the beauty of this ashen glow, or the old moon in the new moon's arms. But what was it? No one knew until the 16th century when Leonardo figured it out. Perhaps this was simply part of his learning process during the lost years. Leonardo da Vinci is considered one of the most brilliant minds the world has ever known. But what was the source of his profound intellect? He was absolutely immersed in finding out, maybe even proving that we were not alone. Perhaps like the biblical prophet Enoch, he was sent beyond the earth and was shown the earth from above and he was given a concept of the cosmos and of machines and inventions and of earth that no one before him had ever had. Is it really possible that Leonardo da Vinci had received guidance from some outside universal source? And when he returned to Florence, his creativity took on a whole new level, going beyond art and extending to numerous other disciplines that boggles the mind as to how this was even possible. What do you guys think of this? Did he experience time travel or was there some sort of divine intervention with this great man's life? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.